Hello, everyone, and welcome to the world of cloud compliance and security, where the CSA Star Platform is your ultimate guide. As a state-of-the-art application, the Star Platform empowers organizations to seamlessly align with CSA Star requirements. The CSA Star Platform is an application designed to assist organizations in managing compliance with CSA Star requirements using the Consensus Assessments Initiative Questionnaire our cake. The platform provides a database format for these tools, enabling effective management of cloud service compliance with CSA best practices. In real-time mode, you can experience the agility of managing cloud service compliance with dynamic updates and insights in real time, offering the flexibility to manage compliance at your pace, ensuring every detail is meticulously covered. Or you can switch to upload mode offering the flexibility to manage your cake offline and upload at a later date. Integrating essential tools like the cloud control matrix and the cake within the STAR platform turns complex compliance into a streamlined, manageable process. Whether you're a cloud service provider, user, auditor, or security expert, the CSA STAR platform is your path to assured compliance and enhanced security in the cloud. Join us now as we take you through a short video showing how you can use the new platform and mastering cloud compliance. We invite you to explore the CSA Star platform today. Hi there. Uh, let's start by clicking on the sign up, sign in link here in the Star platform. And you want to click the sign up tab and enter your email. Uh, you can use the sign up buttons if they connect to your corporate account, but you want to make sure that the email that you use is with your corporate email that you're submitting for. We'll fill in our account details, but I'll skip this here and just fast forward through it. At this point, you'll receive an email at your email address that you use to sign up, and you'll want to click the Confirm Your Account link, but I'll just go ahead and copy it into the browser here. At this point, you'll be verified, and you'll want to sign in to your account. We can start by naming our new self-assessment questionnaire. We'll just call it Test Assessment, and then select the best cake version for your use case. Create it, and then we could jump right into the beginning of the assessment with, with the button, or we can jump to a specific domain set. Uh, we could select the control, but we'll jump right into this control set here. And then answer the question. And select from the drop-down menu, just like you do it in your spreadsheet version of the cake. And we're going to want to make sure that if these, if there's something to put in here to create further explanation for your users that you do so. I'd be careful about putting sensitive information because this will be public. Then we'll do the same here. Save the response. Make sure to click the save response. And we can close this. We can go straight into we can see that the question has been answered here. We can go straight into the controls. Um, in order to go forward, we're going to go back in the breadcrumbs, and you can see that the uh, at this point, you'll see a submit button if it's complete. And we can remove this one for now and go back in the breadcrumbs, go back to the here, and Manage Assessments. You click the Manage Assessments button, and you want to create a new one, but uh, at this point, we're going to import an assessment of an existing build-in cake for the purposes of this demonstration. Put in your cloud service name here, and then 
select the version of the cake that we want to use. Whatever the version of the cake document that you upload is, it will pick up that version and use that version instead. So at this point, this one's fully answered, but if these numbers didn't match up, we would want to go ahead and take a closer look by clicking on the Continue Assessments button here. And you can see the numbers where they don't match up. And we'll just select this one as an example. And we want to click on the Answer Questions link to select the correct answer for this question and fill in the details as required and save the response. Make sure to click the save response. You can go to the next question in the control set or select a different control set to fill in here and select the breadcrumb link to your current submission. When it's done, you can click the submit button, which will appear when all the questions are answered. At this point, you need to fill in your point of contact backup in case you lose your account and click these. It's a good idea to leave the updates enabled so you can get updates about your star submission and its status. You'll select your organization here. If you do not have an organization already in the registry, then you're going to need to create a new organization and fill in all of these very carefully with exactly the right information. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to choose from existing here. And you can do the same thing with the cloud service. If you only have the ability to create a new cloud service or to select from one that you already own. And so I'm going to go ahead and click this and we have to wait for the um, support to get back to this and update your submission for you. When this is done, you'll get a notification in your email and it'll include a link to the star submission and the registry entry that you've listed 